Greetings everyone and welcome back to the new 26 heart well seventh heaven. I was about to say Omni Kingdom. And it's been quite a while. Two months have gone by since the hiatus started and now we're finally off it. Getting the last two episodes that were aired before the Americans got it. Discord and Harmony and Perfect Pair. This review, however, will be for Discord and Harmony. If you want the review for Perfect Pair, you're going to have to wait till tomorrow to get it. At the usual 9.30 Mountain Time slot. So, with that said, what about Discord and Harmony? Well, Discord is a mixed bag of a character for me. On one hand, he is very funny. But on the other hand, he's a show stealer. Literally. The guy is what you would call in theater terms a scene shooter. He devours scenes like Celestia does cake. And oftentimes when he's thrown into episodes, he quickly overshadows them. And most Discord episodes deal with him learning how to be friends or what say you. Discord and Harmony is different in this way. It's finally a Discord episode that gets rid of all the things that Discord usually chews the scenery with and mainly focuses on him. Having friends with differences can be difficult. It leads to many, many an argument and many, many a fight. And having too many differences can lead to a breakup altogether of a friendship. But, when a friendship is long-lasting, it becomes deeper than a friendship. They almost become extended family. You know things about, about them, and they know things about you. They know exactly how you like it, and how exactly you don't. Coming into the opposite friend's world when you never done it before, can be an earth-shattering experience. Take it from me, if you ask any normal person about my day-to-day -day life, and they enter into my world, things can get really complicated for them. They start realizing the struggle that I have to go through every day just to make every day work. But, this doesn't mean it doesn't happen to normal friends. In fact, it can happen in more crazy ways. Discord Normandy focuses on Discord trying to make the perfect tea party for Fluttershy. And in his efforts, jokes run wild. Everything from talking pinatas to, yes... This needs to be a thing, somehow, I don't know why, but singing tea bags. Yes, ginseng tea bags that can actually sing. It's hilarious. <laughs> it's actually one of the better Discord jokes. There's old school references to previous Discord episodes, if you can see spot them, but as normal, John Delancey puts on a fantastically funny performance, and seeing that most of the time it focuses on him, it's a real winner. He is allowed to use all the prop jokes and quick gags that you would expect, but this time it stays rather focused, gone or the pop culture blanket and you'll miss it moments and all the little jokes are part of the plot even the idea of him t 
talking to himself, which is total, totally discord. But amazingly, it's Fluttershy that shows the most versatility and growth here. See, she knows Discord better than anybody, and in the final third, she shows it. In a clever nod to something that Discord does earlier in the episode to make himself feel different. Plus, on the analytical standpoint, we find out how Discord's magic actually works. The more chaos and unnormalcy there is, the more magic he has. The more normal he gets, however, he begins to disappear literally from existence. It's a rather big part of information that we have never known as a fandom, and it absolutely works. In the way it's executed here is rather brilliant. The animation team gets to have a ball once again as they always do with Discord episodes and it definitely shows here. The plot, however, is predictable as all well, heck, but heck, it's a 22 minute kids show, so what you gonna do? Added points for a rather appropriate use of Pinkie Pie here in a scene in which she helps Discord with his problem of tea party planning. Who better to ask than the ultimate party planner, huh? And plus, she's all in on the joke too, which at as the perfect punchline to earlier jokes in the scene. Everything connects together phonetically and finally Discord's jokes are used on a constructive level rather than a destructive level. We learn a lot about his worries, concerns, and the way that he problem solves. Yes, it's all funny, but it's all uniquely Discord, and it's rather different, saying the moral, moral of everyone else which makes Fluttershy's knowledge of him in the last third excellent. With the perfect ending uh, of it's okay for friends to be different from another, another and have their own crazy worlds. Maybe perhaps upon watching this episode, You'll enter a crazy world once or twice yourself with a friend that you may know a lot of, or one that you don't. Who knows? You might find something very interesting waiting for you there. However, we can only give Discord and Harmony a 4 out of 6. It's predictable plot and use of old discord gags some of them even the new ones are a little bit overused here and the predictable yet acceptable moral keep it down from from the high end but it's still an enjoyable entertaining ride and you learn a lot about discord and, oddly enough, Fluttershy's versatility. Yes, and after this episode, I'd ship it. So what are your thoughts on Discord and Harmony? Leave it down in the comment section below and make sure to return tomorrow for the second new episode we were given today for the perfect pair. And trust me, the name is a clue. Until next time, make sure to to follow the playlist, subscribe to Code Equestria for your weekly pony episode reviews, and more. And keep it locked every week for the rest of the way 
for a new 26-7-7. Time peace in your own nirvana. Thanks for watching.